What's up, Greg? And or Greg. How you doing? Um, I'm gonna make this quick little tutorial on uh, how to wave dash. So wave dashing is good when you're like stuck on the completely opposite side of the map. And then, so let's say I need to get back to the blue side and if I just choose, and I have no boost, if I choose to front flip, um, you know, it's easy. You kick up speed and we're going. And we get to full speed. We got to full speed about right here. And the way you know you're full speed is when you got the, the trails. You know, you're supersonic. Nice and easy. Once again, I'm going to just front flip. And bang, full speed. Now, I can actually do it faster, and that's with wave dashing. And so this is what wave dashing looks like. It's just this little thing. And whoops, I actually fucked it up there. But you can actually get to full speed by half court instead of, um, like, really close to the uh, to the goal, like I did in the first time with front flipping. And so with wave dashing, I can get to full speed just a little bit faster. So, like, um, front flipping, I was getting full speed here, whereas wave dashing, I was getting full speed here. And it actually, it takes longer to wave dash and get to here but the time you save of being full speed and getting all the way to the goal, it's actually faster to wave dash than to front flip the whole way. And also you have more control when you're wave dashing. Because look, if I'm front flipping and let's say the ball moves here and you now I have to turn around and do that. Whereas if I'm wave dashing, it's, it's, I still have vulnerability, but I'm, oh, well, I fucked that up. But I have more contact to the ground. Actually, that's a lie. Never mind. Ignore what I just said. But, how do we wave dash? That's the ultimate question. And it actually takes no mechanical skill at all. All you need to do is just like... It, you can literally learn this in two minutes. You just need to get the timing down and exactly what your fingers are doing. It's literally as easy as a front flip with just like an added step. So a front flip, you just, you know, you front flip. Not that hard. So wave dash, instead of in a front flip, we jump straight up. You see how my car doesn't move a lot. Um, on a wave dash, we actually want to tilt the end of our car up so we land on our back wheels. You see how it's bang, bang. And so, and that's literally the only extra step. And then the timing part comes of when to actually front flip. And so when wave dash, what we're doing is we're like there and right before or right as the wheels touch the ground, you're gonna front flip. And what's gonna make your car do is your wheels are gonna snap down to the ground and you're gonna get a little bit of forward momentum. Just like that. And so practice just like jumping, don't jump like super high because we don't wanna wave dash like that because that makes the timing really hard. So practice just like jumping a little bit, small jumps, and then tilting the car back and then bang. And then another thing to note is when, uh, so when you're front flipping, um, obviously your your left stick is tilting forward, and you should already be doing that with the front flip because that's what actually makes your wheels go down. So that part's just a given. But that's basically all it is: is just jump, lean back, and then front flip at the right time. And so just keep practicing it until you can do it like basically every time, and then we can start implementing it into weird and difficult situations um, if that's too easy for you. So another situation, let's say, you know, you're going, and also you can use it just to save boost. And so, you know, even if I got 40 and I'm coming up, um, bang, now I'm at full speed, I don't have to use any boost, and I can still save all 40. Now another good place to wave dash is actually coming off a wall. And so here, you know, I'm coming off and I'm like that, good, but I can actually, um, I can do something to get there a little faster and come off the wall a little better and just be like more active. And so when you jump, instead of just driving off the wall, try jumping off of the wall and landing on just like flat on your car. And so if I'm jumping off the right wall, I'm gonna have to use right air roll because if I don't, my car is gonna land on the side wheels. So make sure you air roll get your car there but then that's where the next step comes in if if that's too easy that's where the wave dashing becomes hard because you can actually jump off and wave dash uh, on landing because you still have your flip when you jump off of a wall like 
uh, close enough to the ground because if I jump off here, I'm gonna lose my flip. Never. M Wait, why didn't I lose my flip? Oh, because I have unlimited flips on. But in an imaginary world, cause, yeah, because I can just jump forever. Um, but in an imaginary world, if I did actually, like, if I jumped off from here, I would lose my flip and I wouldn't be able to wave dash. So it's also important to know how long you have your flip. And and if you wanted to try it, try to uh, just jump off of, like, when you're, like, here-ish. I normally don't ever, when I'm going, like, jump off from there because that's, like, really hard and you're landing weird. But just get the feeling of wave dashing. Not like that. Just normal wave dash. And then also coming off here, wave dashing. And then if you're getting all those and you're hitting them consistently, the last one is coming off here and wave dashing. And that's really difficult because you got to air roll your car completely like 180 and then still have the mindset of where your car is going. And it takes a lot of car control, but with practice you can do it. Just like that. Alright, thank you guys for watching my excellent tutorial. Make sure you roast the fuck out of me in the comments for making that shot. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial, which will be the half flip. See ya, Greg.